When I was in Dalat, a restaurant served an oval bread with the beef stew, a type of bread commonly known in Vietnam as banh mi. Often served as a breakfast, banh mi is everywhere, either in a posh restaurant or at the roadside stalls. How does the bread introduced by the French colonials uh, using imported wheat flour transform into a bread unique to the Vietnamese culture? Let's take a bite on a big bread and understand of how a humble baguette brought by French colonials becomes a common delicacy in Vietnamese cuisine. In this video, I will explain the history of banh mi in Vietnam. There is no recipe of how to make banh mi here. Sorry, banh mi literally means wheat cake or wheat bread. To give you a picture, bread do appear in other Southeast Asian countries. Roti canai in Malaysia, pandesal in the Philippines and French inspired numpang in Cambodia and khao ji in Laos. Bread is often regarded as a light meal or snack in Southeast Asia in the region where rice is a king. Rice is the ultimate staple food in the region. No meal is complete without rice. In Vietnamese language, uh, cooked rice is called kem, white sticky kem. And how does the bread that is made from imported wheat flour become part of the Vietnamese food scene? To understand how imported bread ingrained as a part of Vietnamese culture, we need to look back into the history. France started to colonize Vietnam at the neighboring Cambodia and Laos in stages starting in the year 1862 when France officially colonized southern part of Vietnam which then called Cochin China. The local kingdoms were collectively governed as the French Indochina or its official French name, Union Indochinois. It was the French that gives the modern name of Laos as Laos. In French language, the S at the end of the word is often silent. Merci beaucoup. French who live in Indochina imported food from France to make the life comfortable in a land far from home. Import such as European vegetables, coffee, cheese, pastry and wheat flour to make the lifeblood of French people baguette. The baguette that by the passage of time evolved as pang mi. Originally, baguette used to be called as pang te, which means uh, western bread since the baked bread is different than the bread uh, in the eastern part of the world, the Orient, where the bread is often steamed or fried. Later, the name was changed to pang mi and the domestication in Vietnam began in the mid 20th century when French withdrew from Vietnam. Traditionally, uh, pang mi is eaten as a breakfast it, uh, since it is quick to prepare and can be filled in many ways. However, it is not unclear when the bang mi transformed from a baguette that closely resembled French style to a localized version or whose the idea is that to change the feeling from the imported stuff to the local stuff. From imported ham and salad to local ingredients of charlois with cucumbers and carrots. Fresh vegetables or pickles are inserted into bang mi to avoid the bread becomes too dry. Ah. Due to humid tropical weather, bread tend to harden quicker than in Europe, thus the bakery bake bread twice daily. During the French colonial era, wheat bread is a luxury as wheat flour was imported as together with the filling of the baguette. The filling follow the common recipes found in France, ham, chambon, butter and cheese. Due to its price uh, adherence to the French original recipe and its exclusivity, the earliest version of pang mi is affordable only to a few. It was only after the end of the World War II in the year 1945 that the pang mi that we know today started to take it over shape. Later, pang mi stalls pop up in South Vietnam after the partition of Vietnam in the year 1954 due to American food aid that includes wheat flour in a country where rice uh, is more important than bread. In addition to wheat flour, the American food aid to South Vietnam during Vietnam War is soup-sized cheddar cheese block. Distributed to the refugees, many refused to eat uh, the cheese due to resemble of size and color with the actual soup. Oops. Somehow cheddar cheese found its way to bang mi stalls as the urban people in Saigon are more familiar with cheese than the refugees. After the reunification of Vietnam in the year 1975, the food supply is a challenge as the food production plummeted due to sudden economic change to planned economy. A lack of food ingredients caused drastic change in Vietnamese local food including bang mi as the imported wheat 
become more expensive and unaffordable to many. Thus, low-grade wheat flour was used and often the rice flour was mixed to reduce the wheat content, resulting in the lighter bread and crunchier crust. Even after Doi Mui, which saw Vietnam open its door to the market economy, Bang Mi, made of wheat and rice flour blend persists, makes the present Bang Mi different with the original baguette. Meanwhile, Vietnamese diaspora mainly in the United States, Australia and France have no issue of ingredients shortage albeit creating an authentic Vietnamese food is still a challenge. Not an issue to make bang mi as a wheat flour is abundant and demand for fast food style bread is there. Thus, the Vietnamese restaurant pop up where the diaspora settled serving Vietnamese food including a simple bang mi for the commons and the posh version 1 with many fillings uh, for the curious. Example, Lee's Sandwich is an American fast food chain restaurant selling bang mi marketed as Asian Sandwiches founded by Chu Le in the year 1983. Lee's family originally from South Vietnam became refugee in June 1979 and found a temporary refuge at Bidong Island, Malaysia before being repatriated to United States in the same year. I talked about the Bidong Island in the previous video where this small rocky island off coast of the Tranganu, Malaysia saved the lives of more than 200,000 Vietnamese boat people between 1975 until 1990. The link for this video will be appeared up here. The popularity of bang mi or Vietnamese sandwich is due to its low price and quick preparation. As a result, bang mi is popular among college students who are low in cash but need a quick and fulfilling meal. On the supply side, uh, bang mi could be sold cheaply due to economy of scale. High production make a lot will reduce its cost. In addition, bang mi stalls and restaurants often employ family members to reduce costs further. What makes Pang Mi accepted as a local food albeit its French origin is its versatility. In many ways, it can be an exquisite dish of bread with ham mayonnaise spread of pate with tomato and lettuce with a dash of black pepper. It can be a street dish of bread with chaloa, cucumber, carrot, red chili and maggi seasoning sauce. Maggi. This one. Some adventurous feelings such as thin sardines or laughing cow's cheese exist too. Bang Mi differs by geographical region as well. For example, the northern, central, and southern version is different. Northern Bang Mi in, in Hanoi, in Haipong, resembles uh, Cuban sandwiches. Increasing wheat consumption did not reduce rice demand in Vietnam. Rice consumption per capita in Vietnam remained stable from 150 kg in 1990 to 154 kg per person per year in year 2018. Due to increase in in household income, the per capita wheat consumption increased from 5 kg per person per year in 1990 to 16 kg per person per year in the year 2018. Still lower than other fast developing Southeast Asian countries such as Malaysia, Indonesia and the Philippines. Bang Mi is one of the numerous examples of food shaped by the history and shaping the people by trade route and contact with the cultures near and far. What is your local food that like gathered many cultures in one single dish? You can comment down below. If you want to try bang mi, the bread can be found easily on the street stalls on the major cities and towns of Vietnam. There are bang mi stalls and restaurants found in Vietnamese diaspora communities as well. Elsewhere, like in Malaysia, finding bang mi is a challenge but it is not impossible. Try to find it out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new about bang mi and how a humble French bread localized to become a daily food for the masses. Thank you so much again for watching and see you in the next video.